Located to the west of the Sri Padmanabha Swami Temple is the ancient Mitranandapuram Temple, almost hidden away by the lush green canopies of the grand old trees. Around this ancient temple complex is located the abode of the Nambis, the traditional priests associated with the Padmanabha Swami temple. On the way to Mitranandapuram temple can be seen the Tekke Nambi Madam and the Vadakke Nambi Madam, two heritage structures that serve as the residence of the Nambis, situated on either side of the pathway. The Pushpanjali Swamiyar, also known as the Mupil Swamiyar, resides in a double-storied structure located on the western banks of the ancient Mitranandapuram temple tank. To the east of the Madam can be seen a bathing ghat with sloping roof built on the western bank of the temple tank. The council of the traditional trustees of Sri Padmanabha Swami temple is referred to as the Ettariyogam. Even though the Swamiyar was not part of the Ettariyogam, he still presided over all their meetings. Pushpanjali Swamiyar, who hails from the Trishur Nadavil Madam, belongs to the direct line of disciples of Adi Shankara. Vilvamangalam Swamiyar, who was responsible for the consecration of Sri Padmanabha Swami temple in Anandangadar, belongs to the same monastic order. It is believed that the small Krishna shrine adjoining the Madam houses the Samadhi of Vilvamangalam Swamiyar. <laughs> 